These videos are tough to make. I won't even lie to you. These videos get tough to make at times. And that's why a lot of times they come out late. I'm not always on point with like, okay, trying to get them out right on the day that I want them to be out because I have to go to a very dark place every time that I make these videos. I mean, I'm always in a dark place at this point, but I gotta go dark, dark and then bring it out into the front every time I make these videos. And look, I know it'd be very easy for me just to make a bunch of workout videos, nutrition videos. I'll probably have way more subscribers. I'll end, up, I'll end up on recommendation pages on YouTube and all of that stuff. The algorithm will like it. All of that, I know that because this isn't a popular topic. It's not YouTube friendly. All of that stuff. I'm going against what the algorithm would really want with this type of topic and this type of content. But in reality, I know I still need to put these video, videos out. I know I still need to make these videos because there's a lot of people out there who's been, who's gone through it, who's been through things and they're losing the battle with their demons. And they're very, very close to losing it completely. And for me, with all the demons and battles that I've gone through and lost a lot, won a lot, and still still working on them, I know I need to share this because these experiences that I went through, it's very unique. You know, not a lot of people go through it, but the people who are going through it, it's tough. It's tough to get a grasp on how you feel. It's tough to get a grasp on what to do next. It's tough to get a grasp on like, okay, how do you, how do you bounce back, you know? And mind you, I'm still on the journey too, and I'll always be on that journey, but where I'm at now, I know I can give a little bit more insight and just a little bit more, more thought into, hey, this is what you're feeling, this is what you're going through, this is what's going on. Because listen, I have these conversations often, more times than not, like I talk to my people in Jersey all the time, and I, I use Jersey because they're still on lockdown. They're still locked down. I'm still having conversations with them with my people, they don't know where the dollars are coming from or what they were making is, is cut way beyond half. They're making a quarter of what they were making now, you know, and they don't know what to do. They don't know the next step and they can kind of see the light, but it's tough for me to just to always say, hey, just hold your head up. It'll be all right. You know, people don't want to hear that. People are hungry, people are, you know, bills are due, you know, the mortgage is behind, the rent is behind, people are going through it. But I have to always tell you guys, the worst experiences that I've been through, the worst ones have been the biggest lessons, but I had to come out on the other end to even see the lessons. And that's, that's kind of what I want to draw in with today's video, it's like, look, the demons are going to pop up. The demons are going to test you. The vices are going to try to test you. The demons are going to bring the vices to you in a nice, cute package, a cute bow with a fat ass. And it's going to throw it at you. And you cannot fold when, when it happens because it's, it's going to be presented at you. Right now, you know, people are going to, to their vices, whatever it may be. People are going back to the pipe. I know people like that. People are, are going to put something up their nose. I know people like that. People are going back to, they will smack somebody if they look at them crazy. I know that person, it's myself. I have to issue restraint. I have to issue, you know, calmness. When I'm at Quick Trip trying to pump gas and someone's acting slick and I could easily just take their head off. And trust me, I would love to, but I have to issue restraint. You know, because that's my test, that's my demons. You know, I go through that every day. I have to use this, and I want you guys to use this as your textbook, use this as your school, because you guys are getting a ton of lessons. We're getting so many lessons out of this. I have to find my lessons. I mean, this is, it's hard to see it. How, what, what's the lesson that I'm getting, getting seeing my mom look like a skeleton before she passes away. Where's the lesson, what lesson is that? What school is that? But I do find lessons in it and I do find not the brighter side, I'll never ever say the brighter side, but I see the lessons, I understand the lessons for me.
And if I can see it, and mind you, it's, it's a battle. It's a struggle every day to see the lesson. It's a battle to understand, okay, what, am I, what, what can come from this? What is going to come from this? But there are lessons and something is coming from it. And I share it with you guys and I talk to you guys about it. You know, I have my therapy session with you guys about it every time, every time I make these videos. You know, it's helping me to get over this, making these videos, and I hopefully it can help you guys as well. You know, I'm forced to face certain problems with all this. We all are. A lot of you guys out there are forced to face with problems and issues that you guys are dealing with. And some isn't as extreme, but I look at it as, hey, tighten up. We can all tighten up. We can all get a little bit better. We can all get more focused. And those demons will always be there and try to test us. And we have to battle those demons. We have to fight them because they're not going anywhere. And they know and they, they see the weak point in you. And those demons know how to attack that weak point and throw that vice right at that weakest point. While you're at your weakest self, they're going to throw it at you. It's going to come at you. It's going to look real, real good. And you think you can overcome it. Don't, don't succumb to it. That's why it's like, okay, where do we put this energy? Where do we put this anger? Where do we put this, this fear? Where do we put this hate? That's why I tell you guys, go get the workout in. That's why I have to make sure I always just get that workout. That's why I have to make sure I always get, it ain't for the look, I'm always gonna be on point. And it's not coming with a cocky attitude because I be in a room full of killers in jujitsu and they're always on point. That's our normal. Being on point all the time is our normal. So it's not, you know, when I say that people think I'm on some cocky shit and some arrogant shit, it's just confidence because I be in a room full of savages. And they don't care. They get it in. They push me because they love me to death. They know what's going on with me. But you know how they show me mad love? They push me. They don't let me feel sorry for myself. They don't let me feel this and that. They don't give me that opportunity to have that victim mindset like I talked about. They don't coddle me. Don't coddle me. I don't want to be coddled. That's why I bring these videos up. That's why I do these videos. Because if that was the case, if I wanted to be coddled, I wouldn't talk about this. I'd be back under the covers crying. And trust me, that first day, that first week, I was under the covers, bawling my eyes out, losing it, going crazy. And there's days when I'm at that red light and I throw and I have reggae music on and I hear that song that I remember her always playing back in the day when I was a little kid. You don't think those eyes want to start watering up and I just want to lose it? And I have to issue restraint, I have to fight? Because I'm walking into to the office, I'm walking into the job, and I gotta be razor sharp and deal with these fuck boys? So don't let those demons override you. I get it. I get it, it's tough. But we're out here. This is our textbook, this is our school, these are the lessons we gotta pull. And there's a lesson in all of, there's a lesson in so, there's so many lessons that we can pull from all of this. We have to find the lessons. And some is gonna be easier found than, than others. I get it, but there's a lesson in all of this. And I want you guys to find that lesson and don't let the, the demons override you. Don't let the demons take over. We, it's gonna be a battle every day. And a lot of what's going on with you, a lot of what's going on that you're dealing with, it almost needed to happen because it forced you to have a mirror in front of your face and say, okay, what can I do to improve? Okay, I know I'm messing up. Now I don't have a choice. I gotta be on point. So that mirror forced us. It had, these demons make us look at ourselves and it forces us to say, this is where I'm weak at. I need to tighten up because we don't like to deal with We don't like to deal with that. We don't like to admit where we're weak at. We don't like to admit our faults. But a lot of these things that's going on, you know, a lot of these demons that, that's popping up, all those vices that's popping up, it's exposing our weaknesses. It's, it's exposing us to say, okay, I need to work on this. I know my strengths, but no, no, I need to work on my weaknesses and make them my strengths. We're back with another video soon. Appreciate you guys as always watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.